Hello, I'm Maria Vargo, the president of G.K. Chesterton Entertainment. This Lent, we wanted to offer you an opportunity to get closer to our Lord through some of the saints' visions of our Lord's passion and death. Today, I share with you a vision that was given to St. Bridget of Sweden. It is the Blessed Mother sharing what she saw of her son's passion. We will be meditating on these passages over the next few weeks. Thank you for joining us. While my son was hanging on the cross, the pain mounted from his pierced limbs and nerves to his heart, which was uncorrupt, and brought even more incredible pain and suffering. This pain shot from his heart to his pierced limbs and thus prolonged his death with bitterness. Then my son, surrounded with these pains, looked to his weeping friends who would have preferred to bear that penalty in their own persons or to burn forever in hell. This pain at the grief of his friends exceeded all bitterness and tribulation, which he endured either in body or in heart, because he loved them so tenderly. Then, in his great anguish of body, he cried in his humanity to his father, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. When I, his most afflicted mother, heard these words, all my limbs trembled in my bitter grief of heart, and his death came on when his heart was breaking from excessive pain. Then all his members quivered, and his head rising slightly inclined, his hands shrunk a little from the holes of the nails, and the feet bore more of the weight of his body. His fingers and arms extended, and his back was pressed against the cross. Then some said to me, Mary, your son is dead. And others, he is dead, but he will rise again. And while they were speaking, a man came up and drove his lance so stoutly into my son's side that it almost came out on the other. And when he drew out the lance, its point was ruddy with blood. Then it seemed to me as, as if my heart was pierced when I beheld the heart of my most beloved son pierced through. Then he was, he was taken down from the cross and I, I received him into my bosom. Like a leper, all black and blue, for his eyes were dead and full of blood, and his mouth was cold, his snow, his beard, like cords, his face contracted. His hands were so stiffened that they could not be raised above his navel. As he stood on the cross, so I held him in my arms. Then they wrapped him in clean linen, and I, with my veil, I wiped his wounds and his limbs. Then I closed his eyes and mouth. Then they laid him in the sepulcher. Oh, how readily I would have laid myself there alive beside my son, had it been his will. When all was over, John came and he led me home. Yeah. 
Mother Mary, you died a thousand deaths as you saw your dear son suffer and die. I too want to stay by his side in good times and in bad, when it's easy and when it's hard. I could spend eternity contemplating his love for me. Help me to accept the tremendous love your son has for me. Help me to find my consolation in his heart. Amen.